Welcome to Astronomy Day 2012 at the George Observatory inside the Brazos Bend State Park. We're here at uh, Astronomy Day 2012 inside the George Observatory. I'll let you look around over my shoulder. We have some great speakers from Johnson Space Center. We have a lot of information. Don't, uh, don't tell them that. But... <laughs> I'm going to ask this gentleman, I'm going, to, I'm going to ask him a question. I've been trying to think of a question to ask him. Well, greetings from Mars. Brain bites. Most of this information is, is uh, geared toward younger, the younger crowd. We have a lot of information about the International Space Station. I'm, I'm trying to find, how are you? Mr. Kevin Moore. Yes. My name is Francis Walsh. 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 Uh, Cosmic Obsession Observatory, and I do a lot of internet radio station. I've interviewed uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I've interviewed Rob McNaught. I'm trying to figure out a question to ask you. I can't figure out a question. I'm not anybody to interview. <laughs> Were you with the Johnson Space Center? Uh, yes. No. What's the focus of the Johnson Space Center? The if there was manned missions, manned, manned missions, missions would be to the space outside or atmosphere. If you're not filming me, uh, I was. Oh, I can't. I, I really don't want to be photographed. Okay, I, then I'll, I won't. I'll make sure I, I, I won't. Too. Yes, so, when we say manned missions, when we say manned missions, would you say the space station is fully assembled by America uh, at this time? The American assembly is finished. Yeah. All portions of the U.S. Space flight mean to you? If there was a meaning in your in your thought, it's very expensive. Space it's very very expensive to, to go to space. It's just expensive. You're talking about ten thousand dollars a pound or something. Like that. So you've got to get things up there. You've got to get people up there. It's very expensive. And don't even have the heavy lifting as far as doing all research and 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 only that buying that. Well, now it's commercial. Do you think it's money well spent? I think so too because there's been some success. I wouldn't think that if it was failure after failure, but since Dragon has gone up, it's proven itself so far. So good. It's great. They've even been able to get a Falcon uh, Dragon up when one of the Falcon rockets failed. So I'm happy. They proved that when you have a problem, that you don't have to necessarily do it. If you had enough redundancy, you can get up. But. Did you know that they lost one satellite on the trip up because by losing that one rocket, they were unable to put one of their tag-along, because they're going to make money by tag-along satellites. They have a main mission to go to the space station for cargo, but they'll also take money and put little satellites on the side and deposit them into space on the way up. So they did lose a little bit of productivity by the loss of the Falcon, but they got their main subject up. It's also, not just productivity, but the thing about it, it's still experimental. Because really space is still experimental. So even though this is what they the space six demonstration and then the space six one. So it's still in its infancy. So you would expect there to be some kind of loss. Well, I hope for my, myself and our future that we continue striving to go farther in space. But I do believe it's the place of robots to go in front of man. That's just my opinion. I think. I think, bro, but I think curiosity is the right way to go. Though I might cut out the plutonium and a couple of other things. Kevin, thank you. I got, I've got to talk to people when I'm here because I don't get a, there's not, there's only so many opportunities for me to talk to a bunch of different people in one place. And I am not going to use the video from this discussion. Okay? Thank you, Kevin. You have a great afternoon. So your comments ingredients need to be well mixed with no really big lumps. Stirring is like the rotation of the solar nebula that mix the original batch of comets as it rolls through space. Mixing also brings all the ingredients to the same temperature. Although most of our ingredients are at the same temperature as the 
surrounding air, the dry ice is at negative 79 degrees Celsius, or negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The dry ice cools the other ingredients until they are frozen solid. In space, real comets are usually so far away from the sun that they are even colder than this. If the person holding the bag shut shuts it too tightly, the bag will explode. This is because some of the carbon dioxide gas is increasing in volume. It does this through a process called sublimation. Sublimation is when you go directly from a solid. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go back into the back because we are a volunteer. I want to make sure that um, the donation is going to get uh, delivered. Make sure that the donation is going to get delivered. Let's just make sure it's the back here. Yes, it is. So the donation will be at 9 o'clock. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. Everything is fine. We'll go back to. This is Astronomy Day 2012. Right. And here they have mission control. Pretty interesting indeed. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. I know by the time I get back to our station, we'll be all um, we'll be all up and broadcasting. Jack and should be recording. <laughs> How to observe. So we have outdoor, oh, let me get out, let me get out, let me step back. We have the moon up. That's how we do that. We have people up at the booth. So, they're all getting their stuff. Here we go. Here we go. All right, everybody's on. I was I was down uh, interviewing somebody. Yeah, that's cool. my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Check on the scope. You just hit it. <laughs> I did. You really hit it? Was it steady? What's it doing? Just, okay. that, just that little wire. Did it shake it? So. Oh, yeah. Okay, so walking, walking by doesn't. You're going to get grounded. Damn. No, you didn't do that. Cool. It's like creating a, like a little mountain. It's gonna get better and better as soon as it gets dark. I, I, I would adjust it. I said, man, the video cameras aren't working. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this uh, segment, and we'll see you in a little bit. This is our donation by CosmicObsession.com to the George Observatory's raffle for Astronomy Day 2012, uh, a Celestron first telescope. Hope whoever wins it in the raffle enjoys it. Because we enjoyed giving it away. We'll talk to you later.
Okay, hey, welcome to Astronomy Day 2012 at George Observatory. You can see over my shoulder the East Dome. You can see over my shoulder the Research Dome. On the other side of the Research Dome is the West Dome. Uh, it's a busy day. Busy day traveling down to get here. Busy day, hard day trying to get our internet connection. Everything's uh, working wonderfully. And so, our goal is to uh, present a live broadcast tonight. We're already broadcasting live uh, on NSN through the live webcam. We'll see what, who's on there. Here I come. See what we can find on there. Who's on there? Andy. Matt and some guests. Pop that back open. Our little conversation. We're going to get the telescope hooked up and we're going to get going. Still warm out. Very warm out. Very warm out. Okay, we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you a little bit. Talk to you later. Hot. Okay, time for the raffle, so I hope you have your tickets out. This is going to be for the, what was? 10 by 50. 10 by 50 binox, the binoculars. Listen very clearly, here, carefully. 
We've been attempting to give away the three inch Celestron first telescope. We're on raffle ticket number seven. Last call for this ticket. Did you like Last it? three oh, numbers are oh, one. Isn't that cool? Eight, that is five. Do you see do you see why we stayed up? Especially some of the volunteers. I know. Okay, okay. The ticket number is four zero seven. Four zero seven. This is a new ticket, so if that's not your number. Four zero seven. Where? We got a winner. All right. We have a winner. Say it. Okay. We have a winner for the uh, three-inch starter scope right here. Congratulations. Right there. Let's go down and get them. Let's go down and get them, boys. Follow. Follow. We'll go down. Sean, there you are. Let's go down the stairs here. Here, take the camera right. and show me giving it to him, okay? Okay, okay. Are you live streaming this or are you just No, this is not live stream, this is for later. I wish I could live stream everything. Right? Right? Because that's what we do with our telescope feed. We live stream our feed. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. We're about ready to give away the Celestron 3-inch uh, first telescope that we donated here to the Astronomy Day at George Observatory. Here we are. Are they going in, are they going in there? Did you win one? You won one? I don't know what they're doing. We're gonna wait for Dave. I see where I see it. They can hear you in there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for Dave, David Haviland, and then we're gonna give it to you. So, uh, thanks for joining us today. It's been a long day. We're just gonna culminate with this donation. Who won the telescope? Do you mind if I put your face in a video? It's just YouTube. It's just YouTube. Huh? It's just a YouTube video to show them. You can say no. What? You can say no if you want. Okay, good. <laughs> Somebody's going to take pictures, yes. Okay, we've got to be able to send them to us so we can put yes. them on our website. Okay. He's got, there's two boxes he's got to get. He's got on the vinyls. Shoot that, shoot him while he's handing that to him. And then Dave, I can cut images out of this and then I'll send them to you, David. All right. Okay. And that who was who was that donated by? Was that donated by anyone? We bought that. You bought that? So that's the the 